Hey guys, welcome back to my garage today with the KTM 525 EXC. Today, regular maintenance, oil change, filter change, and hair filter change. First time doing an oil change on a KTM, but fortunately I have the KTM owner's manual that is gonna tell me exactly, step by step, how to do this. So, enough with the chit chat, let's get on it. All right, first thing first, we gotta remove the skid plate over here. And if I'm not wrong, this is a quick uh, removal skid plate, which in theory, as you guys can see, this is the first time. And then comes down this way. As always, before you do this, run the bike a little bit. Uh, uh, warming up the oil allows for the oil to flow out much better. I'm gonna hit all the important places with some brake cleaner. So to make sure that there is no dirt when I take it apart. All right, first thing to do is to drain the oil. The drain plug is uh, back here. It's a 13 millimeter, so let's undo it. All right, not too bad. <laughs> so the oil is pretty dark. Uh, there is uh, quite a bit of fuzz uh, around the magnet. I'm gonna clean this up and uh, moving on. The KTM FRS motor, so this motor over here also has uh, two oil filters over here, one and two. And it also has two screen filters. The first screen filters is over here and we're gonna remove it and replace it. I'm gonna replace anything I can replace today rather than clean. From next time on, I know when last service has been done so I can just clean it or replace it if, if they're broke. <clears throat> All right, they're definitely over torqued. Because I wasn't sure what I was going to need, I actually got the KTM service kit. In theory, this one comes with all the filters, all the screen filters and O-rings as well. Time to get in there and grab the, the screen filter. It actually doesn't look half bad to edge towards safety. I'm just gonna leave it here for now and decide what to do with it later on. All right, next screen filter is down the bottom, right there. And it looks like it's a 12 millimeters, so I'm gonna pull it out. <clears throat> All right. All right, and last are the filters, which are in here. One and two, as I said, this engine has two of them. So with an eight millimeters, I'm gonna start undoing that. Number one, coming out. Also, number one, oil filter. Coming out. Let's grab that and pull it out. I'm gonna let it drip uh, for a little bit and I'm gonna tilt the bike towards me to have all the oil come out. One eternity later. So before we start putting everything back together, let's take a look at what's missing from the complete kit <laughs> of filters. First of all, there was uh, one uh, big O-ring, too many, which is appreciated. But uh, one thing that was missing was uh, the two little O-ring that go on the screen filter itself and the bigger O-ring that goes on the plug. But that is not a big deal. Also, the filler cap O-ring uh, is not there. Probably wasn't supposed to be. But it doesn't matter because I have enough O-ring to resupply the KTM factory. So those came out handy. 
and uh, I replace all the o-ring with fresh one, lubricated them all. Another thing to look for is uh, when it comes to the bigger screen filter, they're not quite identical. I'm assuming that is not that important, but something to, to notice. First thing to put back in is the drain plug with a new crush washer. And according to the manufacturer, uh, that needs to be tied to 20 newton meters. But a typical torque wrench will not fit down here because there is what, uh, maybe an inch worth of uh, room. So let's see what I can figure out. Two hours later. So what I'm doing is I put, I'm not sure what this is called, but it's a 13 millimeter, uh, bought it at uh, Arbor Freight. And uh, I'm gonna put it on and use it to get in there, hopefully. All right, seems like, uh, seems like it worked. If you guys can rig something like this, uh, that'll do. Let's go in order, let's put the screen filter over there. Now that uh, both ends are the same, there is no reason to put them one way or the other, just stuff it in there, I guess. If you guys look in there, the, the screen filter, it's right in the middle. It kind of snaps in on the other side, so it's not leaning on, it, on any side. It's literally in the middle of the hole. All right, and now this plug and the screen filter plug is supposed to be 15 newton meters. All right, moving on to the little uh, screen filter. And this one is supposed to be tied at 10 newton meters. And now it's time to put the filter back in. There is a you guys can hear an actual pop once you put the filters in. And those oil filter uh, covers go in at six newton meter. Now that I have all the covers back on and they're torqued properly, one thing I'm gonna do is grab uh, this brake cleaner and uh, get rid of all the oil spillage around the, the engine. Once you cleaned everything up and you got kind of high from the brake cleaner uh, fumes, it's time to go fill it back up with brand new oil. Oil of choice for me is what is recommended from uh, KTM. So Motorex uh, 1050. Remember, when uh, you start the bike and run it up for a bit, the oil is gonna go inside the oil filters and it's gonna move around. So run the bike, check the level once more, then take the bike for a spin, check the levels of the oil once more and check that all the plugs you removed today are not leaking, including the, the filter covers. And then you're done and we can move on. In my case, I'm gonna do the air filter right now. So let's go back to the other side again. Well, I just realized that like a goober, I did the whole oil change with the lift all the way down to the ground. But I say no more, <laughs> I raise the bike up so we can actually take care of the air filter. I got a brand new twin air, air filter. I oiled it up because I have the twin air tub kit, whatever. Uh, so let's replace it. Now, on this KTM, you don't need any tool to access the, the air filter. You just have those uh, quick twists and then pull out and forward. And that's the air filter right there. Because uh, I'm gonna do something to the seat, I'm gonna pull the seat up as well. Now changing the air filter, it's really, really easy. 
you just unhook the hook inside and the air filter comes out. One thing I recommend doing when once you have the air filter out is to clean up around the air box. When you buy a filter, the filter doesn't have the hard part inside. So what you need to do is remove it from the old filter. Now, in theory, the screen inside should already be clean because nothing should go past the filter. But nevertheless, I'm gonna spray it and it's nice and clean for the new foam to go on it. Now you can do two things. Either, as I do, just slap them in and forget about it. Or if you're in a very dusty area, if uh, you ride a lot, you can actually put a bit of grease around the edge to create a very good seal. Just put it in, put this thing in the hole, plug it back in, and that is it. But the reason why I removed the seat is because uh, the bike is street legal. And being street legal, you're gonna have to carry registration with you. Therefore, there is no place to put your documents. What I did is uh, I bought this thing from KTM and I'm gonna actually glue this thing under the seat. I'm actually not quite gonna glue it on it. I'm gonna double tape it. But if I get pulled over, I better have an eight millimeters with me <laughs> to take the seat off. Now that I have a brand new filter, nice and clean, and that the, the air box is being cleaned as well. Let's put this one back in, the other one closed. So we are done for today with our KTM 525 EXC Street Legal. We replace the air filter with a brand new one. We replace both oil filters and obviously we put in some fresh oil, much needed. And now the bike is ready to go or kind of ready to go. It's one step closer to be ready to go. More things to come, more work on the KTM to come, but for everything I used in this video, check the description down below. Get yourself one of those fantastic Albez ADV shirts. And obviously, if you like the video, like. If you love the video, subscribe. Work on your bike and I'll see you next time.